Since becoming a ham, there is no shortage of new things to learn about. Between radios in your shack, making contacts worldwide, or for that matter, adding more antennas to your roof. You know, I've been listening to a police scanner for quite a while, and it's a lot of fun when all of a sudden you hear sirens in your neighborhood and you're just like, Oh, dang. Pull over! Pull over! And the fun doesn't stop there. Have you ever heard anything low flying over your house, whether it's a plane or a helicopter, and you're wondering, what was that? Where are they going? Where did they come from? Well, I discovered something new recently. A little website called RadarBox.com. That's what's behind me right now, and this website is tracking pretty much all the airplanes. I'm sure they're missing a few that uh, maybe they don't want to be seen. But let's zoom in here and get a closer look what this looks like. So as we zoom in to the USA, we'll go over to where I live out here in Northern California, just inland from the Bay Area, right between Sacramento and San Francisco. And as you can see here, there are loads of airplanes, all being reported to this single website. The information is crazy. I'm still learning it and trying to figure all of this out. As you can see, we can drop in and click on an airplane, an aircraft, and learn something about it. 4,500 feet gives us the knots, a few other pieces of information. Now, personally for me, what I like to see and kind of track is helicopters and military. So over here to the right, there's a whole lot of tools, filters for you to go through. So you can see here on the right side of the screen, where it says aircraft class. So we're gonna go ahead and unclick airliner, general, unknown, business, and cargo. So now we're just looking at helicopters and military out there. So let's see, what do we have down here? San Francisco, we got a helicopter, it looks like started off somewhere down there, and it's flying on up here. Give it a click, see what we can learn about it. 2,475 feet, and it's going about 120 knots. The other thing you can do is you can click into this here designator for this aircraft, and that's going to bring open another website. And this gives even more information about this aircraft. And one thing I like to look at is down here where it says owner. Reach Air Medical Services, Santa Rosa. So that tells me more than likely this is a medevac, either going to or from uh, either a hospital or someone that needs care. As we zoom down in close to it there, there's also other options you can click on and check out. This one here is pretty interesting, cockpit view. It launches this flat map of what it sees, not in real time of course, but a pre-loaded satellite imagery but how cool is that to understand okay here's the water coming up on uh let's see is that what highway is that let's go back to the other view and there it is that puppy's cruising zoom back out with all aircraft re-enabled i'm going to go over here to this menu on the far right and you can see there's no shortage of information whether you want to learn what's nearby what you currently see on the map, the most tracked. Ooh, look at that. We got ourselves a C-17. You also have a, uh, an air band radio functionality where you can click on these different countries and what that will give you is the available frequency of the communication to the aircraft, such as from a tower, ground control. Also a full list of the flight list. And this might be pretty handy if you've got some family moving to or from, or perhaps you want to keep an eye on a girlfriend. Lots and lots of weather, from cloud coverage to precipitation to intense precipitation. Throw on the radar on top of that. Even has wind barbs. That's too much for me to look at. How about this one? Ever curious where there's active volcanoes? Turn this filter on, go down here. Oh man, look at this. 
click onto the volcano, all sorts of information about the validity and what they're reporting, how far perhaps steam or ash is traveling. But as I said, for the most part, I'm kind of just interested in helicopters and, and military aircraft. And you can see here to the right, you have a filter where you can select just that. Or you can look at a business jet, airliner, etc. There's also different sources, meaning all of these aircraft are being reported at their current position by various different methods, as well as uh, individuals, agencies, everything down to people like myself or yourself. I took a few screenshots over the last couple days in preparing to get this video out. One thing I did is I took a trip on down to LA. Because, well, you know, there's no shortage of helicopters in LA. <laughs> and here you can see about 13, 13 or so present on a Saturday evening in LA. Maybe they're not all cops. This one here caught my eye uh, just a little east of me, towards the foothills. This helicopter was flying in all sorts of circles, pattern after pattern. Clicked into the designator, and I found that this helicopter is owned by the Sacramento County Sheriff's Office. So more than likely, they're out there looking for somebody or something. Here's another one. While listening to a local repeater, I heard some traffic about action down here in East Bay. Sure enough, pulled it up. Here I see the owner at the bottom. County of Contra Costa Martinez. This is going to be a sheriff bird here, flying around. I thought this was pretty cool, too. When I went down to the Vegas area, I noticed there is a whole mess of helicopters. And this was, I believe, in the evening time frame. And I started thinking to myself, where would that many helicopters go? And then it dawned on me. This is a tour. They're going out to the Grand Canyon. So this is just a few things you can do when you have a resource such as RadarBox.com. So you might be asking yourself, how in the world is this working? How can we see all these aircraft in the sky and get this much information? Well, it's a little thing called ADS-B, which stands for Automatic Dependent Surveillance Broadcast. It's a worldwide aviation system based on 1090 megahertz. As you can see here, it reports on multiple telemetry, whether your position, airspeed, if it's climbing, diving, your altitude, and your identifier. I'm not going to read all of this. Please feel free, go check this out. This is at RadarBox.com. But here it talks about some other details and particulars. Uh, one that's kind of interesting is that they're saying the maximum range of this system is going to be line of sight. It's very similar to how our 2 meter, 70 centimeter you know, radios work. Um, typically around 200 nautical miles. So that would be about 370 kilometers. The big picture of how this system works is fairly simple when you break it down into three steps. The aircraft has a radio transmitting this said data. There is a ground station, or I should say multiple ground stations on the ground. There could also be satellites and all sorts of things. And then that information gets passed via the internet and gets uploaded and decoded at the server for the radar box. At which point then a consumer can open his phone, open the computer and see all of those airplanes. Let's check out some hardware. So if you would be so interested or inclined to set up one of these receiving stations at your house, you would need some sort of antenna, coax, and then box to then receive the signal from the sky via RF and then send it into the servers. So as you can see here, they have a flagship ADS-B receiver. This X-Range 2 right here. Other variations of that as well. Not to mention there is a USB dongle to simply plug into a computer and then hook up your antenna multiple variations, and then you're going to have your antenna. All their antennas come with about 30 feet of coax. It's nice thinner stuff. The connector is an SME, and that allows you to bring it into your house, wherever the box might be sitting and connected to the internet. This equipment is available in various places. I'll leave some links down below in this video. You've got Amazon, of course. You've got eBay. We even got their website right here. And you can choose whatever might be convenient for you, work for you. They have uh, small portable antennas here. 
that can go just about anywhere. Very portable option. As well as they have full kits, which I recommend, and that's what I'm using. I'm using this X-Ranger 2, and for my particular kit, it came with one antenna, coax, a mount bracket, some Cat5 to hook it to the internet, everything you really need to get it off the ground and working. The first step you're going to want to do is set up an account. And you can set up an account whether or not you plan to upload information or not. Being a feeder into this system, I think, is way cool. You will have your own little website with your own box. And you can see here, this is mine that we're looking at. So currently, the dark green area is as far as I've heard aircraft so far. And if I look up to the top, I can see my max range comes in at 349 nautical miles. So right now, I can see all of the aircraft I'm currently tracking from right here in my house. The antennas on the house, the boxes in the shack, and we can see what it's reporting on. Not to mention a slew of other information out there. It also keeps track whether or not everything is working in your own line. Now I understand, being a feeder isn't for everyone. Whether you just don't want to buy the equipment, or maybe the wife just doesn't want to put up with any more antennas. But there is a way to get all this for free. And more on that later. I jumped into an incognito window here in my browser to show you what it looks like if just the average Joe shows up to this website or uses it on their phone. As you can see here, there's the typical ad banner. Information over here, which is about the same no matter what. You can close that out. And then over here, there's going to be some more ads as well as some limitations. You can see you can't select all the different sources. And there's also some other maps that are not available for the free service. Looking at what it would cost for their different packages, you can see there's three different packages. Well, four if you count free. All this information can be found on radarbox.com. Check that out for your own information, read more about it. But let's just take a quick look what you get. Free users get a live map. You do have to see ads. Timeouts on maps are 10 minutes. Down here we have full screen filters, fleet tracker, etc, etc. Not available on the free version. How about this $40 a month version? That is their top of the line package. And as you can see, you get everything. And that's what I have. But I don't pay $40 a month. So check it out. If you do decide to be a feeder and you stay up and you constantly give them live data, they will then give you a pro business account for free. One thing I find super cool is on their website, there is a way for you to apply. If you're accepted, they'll send you everything you need, such as their X-Ranger 2 antenna, and you can get set up at home. Free business account, the whole nine. But I will caution you, not everyone will be able to get this. I do encourage you to try and apply, but at this point, there is a fair amount of broadcast stations out there. But maybe if you live somewhere remote or somewhere where there's a lot of mountains and there's poor coverage, they just might hook you up. So let's take a look at my setup and my equipment. Here you can see is the antenna. Comes with the antenna, the mounting bracket, the coax. I since used a one inch EMT and painted it white use some unistrut as well as a clamp here and some spacers and for the most part I'm pretty happy how that looks and I'm really not getting any complaints from the wife very small antenna next you got the X-Ranger 2 and because more likely a lot of you guys are ham dudes and dudettes you probably are familiar with this good old Kenwood first size comparison that's what it looks like as it sits here on the shelf in the shack you got power wire here you got an RJ45 this here is where the antenna screws in with a filter I've, I'm using. Now you might be thinking, these connection ports look pretty familiar. Well, as a good ham would, would do, we took some things apart. I had a peek in there. Sure enough, there's a Raspberry Pi. I'm going to guess a 3B or something. Jumped over to some kind of little RTL dongle. And it comes pre-programmed, ready to go. Just plug and play. Now I also wanted to point out, you don't have to buy their full kit. 
Maybe you already have an antenna that receives on that or possibly make one. And maybe you have a Raspberry Pi laying around or you just want to buy your own. From here, they will help you build a Raspberry Pi just for this. At which point they will give you the software and the image that you need to put on the Pi. Going back to the map, this one kind of caught my eye. We've got a helicopter cruising around in Oakland, doing all sorts of circles. Matter of fact, I see two and they say blocked. So, sometimes these different agencies and aircraft can block their signal. And when you click on it, it really has no information for you. So that's all I got. I thought this is pretty neat stuff. I've been experimenting with it for a few months. And the next time you hear something buzz over your house, go check out RadarBox.com or pull the app up on your phone. And don't forget to apply to be a feeder. Apply. Maybe you can get one sent to your house. Drop any comments or questions down below. I'll leave some links as well for you to follow. And we'll check you on the next one. 7-3.